I didn't know it'd be a massacre. Hopefully, just oh, did I retrieve all 23? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not letting them kill each other. I'll say that much. <laughs> Thank you, our chest breach. Fare thee well. Why, hello again. Well, hello, Captain. I have gotten several surveillance reports that some possible Nazis are at the Star Vegas warehouse. Troops? What? Goodness gracious. Now's not the time, God damn it! it's just not. I've got a meeting with the brass in an hour at the officer's concourse for this particular reason. The cowboy within me says to check it out. We don't want to lose these folks if we get a lead. But the soldier within me says to wait. Ah, f I know you want to help track down these elusive sons of... Take Officer Gribbs and Stanley with you to the warehouse. Oh. I must stay. They don't say much. In fact, they don't talk at all. That's why they're my partners. I get enough lip from the brass. Um. Now go ahead and follow your lead. And please keep my troops safe. I'll take them back after the meeting. Okay, I don't want to, but okay. I'm gonna kill some scum. Eat some ass. And I'm all out of scum. Wait, I didn't mean it like that. Three. Where'd my robot go? Oh, it doesn't matter. Three, two, one, clear. That's his. Ow. Over here. They killed him. Oh, what did I shoot? <gasps> Wait, they have their own rifle? Hold, 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 hold the phone. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. I want to try the rifle. What's the difference? Oh, it has a symbol on it. I see. That's pretty cool, actually. Did he fall to the earth? Ow. I died! I couldn't shoot. <laughs> the game. You are that. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I ran out of stim packs. That's why I died. Oh, I never got into my stim packs back for that. Oh, son of a. Didn't know that was gonna happen. That's exactly why I did what I did. That hurt. Ow! What? Uh, These guys are stronger than I thought. <laughs> Alright. Uh. Oh my. Oh my god, I'm gonna die again. Look, this is not fair. Oh my god, that hurt me. Oh, did I kill him finally? My god. God, everybody, oh, everybody's dead. Man, that didn't have to take a while, didn't it? Ow, what the? Oops. Hello. Hello, Captain Cosby. I just killed a whole bunch of Nazis in the Star Wars. Sweet Adeline, you killed them? Yep, multiple troops. Mm -hmm. You're out of your mind, friend, and I like it. <laughs> but we must be careful at this point. Why? I just had the meeting with the brass regarding dedicating some troops to help with his infestation of the Mojave. Oh. And I wasn't in there for more than two minutes before they dismissed my proposal. Saying if nobody yeah. has seen or heard them, then it's not a worthy cause. Aww. So I think the only help we'll be getting from me is myself and my two trusty soldiers. Uh. And by the way, if you don't mind me asking, why in the world were you interested in this particular warehouse? I was eating Christmas lights. What? Yeah. We've got post-apocalyptic Nazis running about and you're browsing for tinsel? Uh, you know what? You're obviously a very talented individual and I'm not going to question your actions. But what I am going to do is take my troops now uh... down to that warehouse for some cleanup and investigation. I want to know why they were in there. Okay. You take care now. I'm sure we'll be seeing ourselves mighty soon. And if you need to find me before I find you, I'll be right here at McCarran. Uh, I ran into some problems, but the warehouse is open, and it's already moon to move. Decorations. Open. Well, by, so by gosh, by jingle, that's by, great news. By jingle, by balls. I can't wait to dive in and see what bubbles and lights they have in there. Jing, jing, Why am I in such a great mood, you ask? Well, it's because dear Humphrey's memory was suddenly evoked by the spirit of Christmas <gasps> over a nice Brahmin steak last night, oh. which I must say is now my favorite Mojave dish. Well, he recalled a small lodge that sits on the Charleston slopes. 
about a half a kilometer below Jacobstown, he tells me. Huh. The Alpine Comfort Lodge stays barely occupied and in great condition. You know he's right. Our dinner conversation revolved around how dear homeless Humphrey was rejected by the mutants in Jacobstown. Oh. But found comfort there in the lodge. Well, I think they may have taken it over, but I'll see. I'll see. Yeah, I'm guessing this is our next port of call. You can see right through me like Rudolph's nose, young one. Uh -huh. Of course, what? that's where we're going. Like shepherds did in the early tales of Christmas. Oh, for the love of God. The Kaiser is marked. Stop. I'm gonna die. <laughs> I think I died. I am Cyber Santa Claus with a browning in my hand. <laughs> Look at the heck up. Oh my god, is it your birthday? Hi there. You Hi. must be Humphrey's friend. I am. The one who I'm helping save a big Christmas party. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm Bongo, your caravan leader. Bongo! The only thing I know about Christmas is that we've got four pack Brahmins loaded up with hundreds of pounds of Christmas lights and decorations. Holy shit. And I'm told we've got to make sure they all get up the old Alpine House Resort Lodge thing safe and sound. Now, I've never heard of this place before, but it apparently exists. The Crimson Caravan have maps here of it, so I should be able to follow that fine. And my boss tells me you've got the guns. It is Mantis season after all. I hope you're a good shot. <laughs> I'm just joking. That's all I've got to say. We about ready to get this caravan a rolling? Of course. Awesome. Oh, and yeah, I know you're probably used to running all over the desert, but the yeah. safest way for a caravan is slow and steady. Oh. Now, let's hit the road. Don't fuck it up. A voice tells you from within your mind to simply follow the guard and guard the caravan and not to fast travel. Wait or try to and bypass the mountain trek in any way, lest you risk destroying the quest and having to do it over. The voice tells you to save often on this trip, avoid heartache, avoid heartache and frustration. Not knowing on what on earth this voice is talking about, you continue on your way. He's right, you know. Come on, Mr. Bongo. Come on, Mr. Bongo. Come on, Mr. Bongo. You're taking your sweet ass time. There better be nothing here that can kill us, I swear to God. Oh, they're gonna decorate this tree and everything. Oh, this is gonna be cool as shit. Hi, Nick. Jumping jingle bells, we're all here. What a trek, huh? I feel like a true shepherd. Oh. We've left our Brahmins at the old store. Barney's brought the stuff and our newly printed posters. Hooray! Now let's find the owner of this place and tell him we need rooms ready for 500 visitors this week. Alrighty, Bongo. Here's your caps as promised. Thanks again for your help and have a very Merry Christmas. My pleasure, Nick. Send me a telegram if you need me or the caravan again. Oh, speak to the owner of the Alpine Lodge. Uh, where's the owner? Would he be in here? Hey, man. Well, would you take a look at this? A visitor to this shit heap. If it's the money you're after, go ahead, take it. I don't care anymore. Uh, well, don't just stand there. I said you can take the damn money. Leave me alone. Hey, I'm not here to take your money. whoop de fucking do It's a nice guy, huh? A nice guy's come to the Alpine Lodge. You'll have to wipe your own ass here, your honor. Please, your highness, excuse me. But if you're not here to take my money or pillage the lodge, why are you here? Is it finally tourist season again? I'm here to rent some rooms, of course. You are open, aren't you? Oh, yes, we're open. But I must have missed the second coming. Because customers to this lodge are a damn miracle. <laughs> At least with the money, I'll be able to buy some sugar bombs. What'll it be then? Three, four guests? Five hundred. Yep, give me a second. Is he gonna realize that I said five hundred? Five? Five hundred guests? Yeah. Sweet Jesus. Are you pulling my chains here? Five, five, five hundred? I'm serious. I think this will, uh, payment will suffice for our true, for the truth. The down payment here. But th this is amazing. The Alpine Lodge at full occupancy. Mm -hmm. That means I gotta go get the rooms ready. Oh boy, I have to rehire the chef. I have to get my Casador guards back. This is invigorating. Huh? But here, take the key to room 23 so you can drop off your stuff. It's on the top floor of the Blue Pine View building. I have to start getting ready. Well, I guess this seems promising. 
Mind you, there wasn't much conversation. If we weren't telling the truth, he's an awful gullible man. That what? Well, um, I mean, we did put 200 as down payment, and 200 in this world is pretty expensive, so. It's not too shabby in here, as a matter of fact. Cleaner than most of the places I've seen around here. Oh. It must be that cool, crisp mountain air. Probably. Oh, I always ask you this, but what's next? Well, depending on where our folks are coming from, they must have already started the journey. Oh. Whether it be today or last month, they'll know exactly where to go. Since the Mojave Passage is a certified NCR travel point and is printed on every NCR civvy map within the Tri-State, the thing is, oh. once they reach the passage, they won't have a clue where to go. Uh. But I'm sure we're fine for now. So I'm going to stock dear Barney and I up on these printed posters, and we're going to post them around some towns. The current address is this lodge. Nice. And for you, well, what I'm about to ask of you is going to be very strange and hypocritical for uh -oh. me. But it's most absolutely necessary. I can't be that bad, can it? I'd prefer the entire world be run on hot chocolates and candy canes, son. But the fact of the matter is that this is a harsh world. And harsh worlds run on nothing but money. Money makes the world go round and round. I'm going to need to borrow some money from some of the most wealthy enterprises in this small desert uh -oh. to realize our holiday goals, you see. I'm and what a... enterprise is wealthier than the first place I asked you to visit? Wait, no. The Ultralux. I can just give you a... You want me to roll the Ultralux? I want you to bust your ass in there, grab the guap, and cap some bitches. <clears throat> I mean, yes. <laughs> I need you to calmly take down the necessary personnel and relocate their physical funds back to us. Now, have faith. I wouldn't ask you to perform such a task if I wasn't sure of its circumstances. Circumstances that dearest Humphrey is very I, well acquainted with. I so, just... go ahead and give him a talk. I'm... He'll take you through all the necessary preparations for the heist. Afterwards, I... he'll need to head for the passage. Once you're done and all is clear, Bring the cash to Novak. It's Barney and I's last stop on this poster posting trip. It's a heist then. Good show. Speak to Humphrey and he'll take you to one of his dealers and get you stocked up for the show. Now Barney and I are oh, going to happened? start putting up these posters. I wish you the best of luck. Santa Speed. Santa Speed. Humphrey. Clear to see we made it up to Martin in one piece. Yes, Nick says you're gonna help me rob the Ultralux? Yeah, see, I was on a hustle with the place about 12 years ago when they was just renovating the place. Damn got a hell bunch of us lowlifers up and paid us shit rates to install taps and shit paper holders for their bathrooms. They done employed me to scrub the mud out of them carpets there. And while I was doing my morning shift in the GE's office, I stumbled upon a find. I remember getting down on my knees and peeking through a hill in the wall. I saw a bunch of armed guards in a long hallway with an elevator. I'm certain that that's where the vault would be. What? And you can see it from within the general manager's office. The hell? But before any of that can happen, you gotta get yourself in there and Buy yourself some time to actually find the vaults all way. And then get down by shooting folk, slitting fast with a silent gun. A silent gun with taser delivery. <laughs> and where are we going to get these arms? My hood bro, Kuva. He spent time making all sorts of nerdy contraptions underneath the Ripcon building south of Vegas. I know he'll be more than happy to help, so let's get a move on. I have to get to the Northern Passage and wait for early birds when we're done. Where are you going? I'm free. I'm free. Come back. I'm free. I'm free. I'm free. Don't you dare. I'm free. I'm free. I'm free. Stop it. He's in here. Well, well, what do you know? It's Humphrey Silas, fresh no homeless moocher. Good to see you. I take it you're here looking for a weapon? Ah, 
Ah, you know me too? Wow, oh, Earthy. My friend Earth got a heist and he needs your special shock pistol. I'm sure you don't mind sending me again. So, huh? Are you looking for my grade A in bullet taser delivery system? Yeah. <laughs> I must concur that you have good taste. Thanks. It's one of my finest inventions. Oh. Forgot to introduce myself. I'm Erskine Cozart, techno thief and pseudo energy weapon expert. Ooh, I'm down these games. How will this fancy, uh, how, 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 how give me the gut. Think of it like those hand shockers from before the war, but within a bullet. Replace the button with a barb, and the shock is a thousand fold. It's basically the fusion core of an overcharged microfusion cell, attached to a conductive barb that sticks out of the bullet when fired. Upon impact, the electrical surge blows your nervous system like a light bulb filament, assuring an unconscious state for at least eight hours. Now, it takes a painstakingly long time to make each bullet, so I've got only 30 for you. Oh, I don't have to pay? If you're a friend of Humphrey, then you're a friend of mine, and friends of mine get my full discount. Well, here they are. I had them out already. Just be very careful not to miss. Alright. I'll keep that in mind. Well then, waste no more time. But be careful. Nice. Speak to Humphrey. Humphrey. Hello again. Hurrah. Okay, I think I'm ready, but is everything so... Why is everyone so calm about robbing the casino, huh? Because when people make big deals out of it, you're mine. The Oops. real uh, time for us less fortunate is to do it like it's legal. It's easier going to point B, doing some turns, than returning to A, than it is to go and rob one of the most wealthy organizations in the Mojave. Now look, they want your pink bottle to us it gets. I've got to go to the northern passage to greet any early guests. You do the job and then meet Nicky Novak. Then we'll all regroup again. I got it. Good. Have fun. Yeah, have fun, me. Great. Winter time heist. Fan fantastic. What? Locate the Ultra Lux Vault via the GM's office. Beg your pardon. I'm but pardon your bag. You to turn over your weapon. Uh, I'm gonna keep my hold of it. My deepest of son of a bitch. I've got you now. Why are you after me? Yo, 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 ah! Had enough? Yeah. Really? You were doing that much damage with a cowboy repair? Uh. Whoa, watch out! Okay. Okay. A path to the vault. You know, it's a small craft moving the currents and fro. You remove them to find a hidden hole behind. Ah! Right, I'm going through oh. here. I don't want to go through security. Oh, God damn it! I think I'm supposed to kill you, but um, for some reason you've not act been activated. Oh, a very easy desk. Never mind. Who needs to kill anyone when you can just get all the shit that you need from a desk? Hey. I, I've done it, boys. I've gotten to the vault at the bottom. Ah, oh, shit. Um, melting. Oh, got it. Yes, I did it. You. I unlocked the door. Look at all them money bags. I'll take everything. Casually bring the money back to Nick and Novak. <laughs> Casually. It's the most wonderful time you can cheer. Whoa. What did you do here, Santa? Shall I say that our poster posting mission was a mixed success? Mixed? What on earth happened here? It was our last poster to put up here at the hotel. And? As I reached for the nail to give Barney with hammer, Barney was struck from behind with the butt of a rifle, and a pistol was put to my neck. Oh. We were taken here and lined up with these lot. Then, one by one, a soldier walked down the line and shot them dead as four others watched. Jeez. He reached Barney when his magazine emptied. He reached for another when an officer, I think, told him not to waste. Then he beat us with his fists. I'm really upset, mind you. 
The soldiers all <laughs> kicked poor Rudy in the head and dragged him away with him by his tail. Oh. I have no clue where he is now. I've had him since he was a puppy. Good lord, what are we going to do? Well, we've gotten this far, so we have to keep our composure. We have Look to? on the positive side to see that we're all alive. I don't think we have And to. the posters are all up. And I hope you've been successful with your Ahem. visit to the Ultralux. Visit. Mm, yes, yes, I did. Here you are. Well, then, this is good. Bittersweet, but good. That's Barney it? and I are coming back to the Alpine Lodge to drop off these funds. Okay. Maybe our lodge owner friend is back by now. It never came across my mind to check on the Jacobstown Lodge to see if they have a ballroom or something that could host the convention. Oh. So I'm probably going to have a word with these folks up there to see if we can't work out a deal. It would be awful convenient if we could. Yeah, it's true. As for you, I'm sure we both know exactly who did this. Yeah. So I reckon you should find that chap, Captain Crosby, to see if he or the NCR can help. For it does not seem that us and our Christmas plans coexist with these Nazis in their brutal ways. I almost forgot that we were fighting Nazis. Anyway, goodbye. Good luck. We'll see you back at the lodge. Winter time heist complete. <laughs> Winter time heist come. Complete? What's up, dodo birds? <gasps> I just broke my legs. What about that? Well, hello there. It seems that this meeting of ours moods are more somber than usual. Mm -hmm. What happened to your captain? Officer Cornell was on duty when a male wearing a dark gray uniform stepped through the makeshift shelter door and walked towards the boardroom. She thought nothing of the man, being well dressed and clean. Not the usual look for a criminal, you know. The bastard took out a triple bundle of Tech 29s. I'm over what you'd call a fat man from his satchel. Ooh. Cranked a timer and stuck it to the wall. Cornell chased a fucker out here and got him in the back with a rifle. Of course, his uniform matches those that I found in the warehouse. Or the Nazis. The homeless didn't have enough time to run for it. And the shoddy structure didn't have a chance. This is complete madness. Madness! Look at these Nazis. Madness! They struck Novak too. Executed a dozen wastelanders. I've just come... From there. This only enforces my findings at the warehouse then. Long pause. This is much bigger than I expected. What findings do they match? I took a holotape I found in the warehouse and played it back at McCarran. McCarran? It seems they were using the warehouse's tower to broadcast orders. That could possibly be the only way they could commit a joint strike like this. Even the NCR can achieve these things at this precision. I suppose the only good thing out of this is that the holotape details a communications convoy that is to travel through Sloan tomorrow night. Right here and right now. I'm telling you that we have to ambush that convoy. Right Their here, right now. orders could help predict future attacks. Or even where they're currently headquartered. I'm done for an ambush, though. Oops. Fantastic news. Meet me outside of Sloan when you're ready. Make sure to bring supplies for an ambush. I think we'll need to have the element of surprise with us. I've got to stay here until the commanding officer from McCarran takes over the site. I'll be there, though. Goodbye. Bring your wits with you, boy. I don't have any hey. whips. I just have toots. Anyway. <laughs> ah, good to see you, soldier. You got here quicker than I thought. Today is a standard ambush procedure for the NCR. Bait and wait. We got a good wait left until the convoy comes through. If the radio message is still correct, so you have a bit to set up whatever you have. That blue Corvega is set and rigged with a powder charge, so I'd prefer you not to rig anything before that. I want it to be our first strike. Now the message told that they were coming south from the southern edge of the limestone quarry, past the mouth of a small town and under the rail. So I take it they'll be coming towards us from the north there and under this bridge. I'm ready for the ambush, Captain. Right then. I guess we just wait here for the bastards. It shouldn't be long now. <gasps> Wake up. I think they're here. I can't see shit. Oh, I see them. I see them. I see them real good. Evening. Shut up. I'm going to save Christmas. Open fire. <laughs> oh, shit. No one needed to open fire if that happened. Well, goddamn. Oh. Yikes. 
Sorry. You have to die because I said so. Speak to the captain. Yellow. Uh, I found an all, a note of the officers. And? What did it say? I don't know. I didn't read it. It detailed the delivery information an officer in Prem. It, it wasn't written, but I know it's bad. It wasn't written? What? If that's the case, then I'm in it for the long run. I want to see fit that these fools don't harm any more of the Mojave's citizens. If you're in it with me, then I think it's best that we stay together. So we can find each other and plan these things out easily. Where are you stationed at the moment? I don't think we have a choice if we want to stop them. I'm up on Mountain Charleston at the moment. Well, let's get me and the soldiers here settled up there. Yes. I'm sure we'll think of a plan on the way. We will. Well, look who it is. It's me! I don't suppose I have room, uh, have a room right, red, oh, Jesus English, ready for some friends, man, can I? Sure thing. Matter of fact, I just started to clean each room for you folks. Each. And I've finished suite 22. I have the key right here with me. I it's a three bed suite, right so it looks just about perfect for the company. Oh. And don't you think I'm not keeping track of what rooms are getting occupied? Okay. I expect payment when payment is needed. I know. See ya. See ya. Ta da! Wow. A fresh hotel room when you want it. I'm impressed. No thanks. Where'd you get the money? You rob a casino? Uh -huh. With all uh -huh. jokes aside, uh -huh. before I sit down and formulate a plan on uh -huh. how to stop this menace, is there any urgent or important information you must tell? Well, an enemy soldier took a friend of mine's dog during the Novak slaughter. I hear you. I'd probably not worry too much about that. There's not much we can do. What I would suggest is to get this friend of yours and bring him back here, if he's not already here. For safety's sake, approximational tasks to an enemy can be dangerous for the victim. Yeah, okay, I'll probably... Right, right then, stay safe. I'll try. Find old Nick and Barney. Hey, have they been here? Well, look who it is. It's me! Uh, hello again, have you seen old Nick or Barney anywhere? Sure, they were asking me about ballrooms and convention centers and stuff, oh. so I pointed them to the Midwinter Hall up at Jacobstown Lodge. The biggest, or used to be the biggest party venue in all of Vegas. It nearly takes up a quarter of the lodge. Shame it's not in use anymore. They tell me y'all are hosting a Christmas party, and the folks are staying here, hence the large amount of rooms required. Yes. I hope you guys can pull it off, you know. Christmas time meant an awful lot to this mountain. Oh. Before the war, people would flock here from all over the country on railroad machines and flying aeroplanes all through the month of December. That's not how you spell arrow. As mummy used to say. Please. Now, if you'll forgive me, I do need to get back to work. Okay. I need to prepare for these guests. Midwinter Hall. Are they here? Whoa, this looks new. Oh, hey, Nick. Pretty amazing, wouldn't you say? Yeah. How room of this stature can go unnoticed by those who live here. And it sure is a phenomenal room at that. It's good to know that the mutants here are just as intellectual as the ones I remember up north. <gasps> Bowser, this is a venue for the... Wowzer! <laughs> this is a venue you for the co uh, convention? By Holly, it sure is. By Holly. It's got the room, it's got the charm, and it's got the amenities. And a perfect wintry locale to top the tree. Uh, Things, for the most part, are starting to look up. But I'm still in deep sorrow, my friend. I miss Rudy terribly, and I hate to imagine where he is. Were you able to get any help from dear Captain Crosby? Well, Crosby is with us at the lodge, and after we gained some intel, he began working on a plan. This news is better than I expected. Thank you. I will try my best to decorate and prepare for the convention through this loss of mine. Oh. It will be hard, but I can do it. As for you, well, we need to be prepared right quick for the flocks of vacationers coming. Right quick. For the most, back at the lodge. I need you to assist the owner in his preparations. I'm going to start unpacking the furniture here, and Barney is currently working out prices. Okay. I suspect Humphrey to return to the lodge with the first of the visitors very soon. So if we act fast, we may just pull this off. And there's no doubt Crosby has sent you to bring me back to the lodge. But I assure you, the Nazis won't barge through a fortress of mutants. Well, I'm not, I'm not sure about that. Christmas rush! Well, look who it is. It's me! I've returned. Delay the hand. Good. I'm glad my hints eventually caught on. 
come up to my eyes and work here. Oh, I've currently got three things that I need you to lend me a hand with. First off, and most importantly, are the mantises that have been dormant. They're called mantis. Just like they are in trees, the upper levels of the lodge are pretty full with them. I'll need you to discard their lives into the bin of death. Uh -huh. I also need the water switched on via the main pump under the lodge. And with that comes the third chore, the night stalkers. Uh -huh. Since I don't like to run the pump all the time, I switch it off when business is quiet. And when it's quiet, night stalkers have a hoedown. <laughs> so you might have guessed I need you to put an end to their frolics as well. Uh, now that I've talked your ear off, time to tell you about the lodge as a whole. As a whole? Go on. Okay, I'll make it quick. The Alpine Lodge is divided up into three sections. The Pine View Building, the Pine Fresh Dorms, and the Alpine Block. Is it like a small hole? Pine View is the building where your friends are staying. Alpine Block is the three-story bulk of the lodge with the Pine Fresh Dorms as its extension. Is it like a hole That's in the really wall? all there is to it. I'm sure you'll get the hang of the place really soon, especially if you're going to go mantis hunting. Here's the key to the Pine Fresh Dorms. You'll have to access the Alpine Block through there. My lobby door is still seized. Don't be afraid to say hello to Chef Babylon and his apprentice. He may have some work for you to do if you're looking for it. Now go forth, slay the vicious mantises, and turn on the water, etc. Et I am a little silhouette of a man. I have a burning, a burning that can kill you. Why is there mire lurk here? Oh, cause there's water. All right, now I gotta go kill a bunch of other shit. I'm gonna use my pistol of doom. Pistol of doom. How does one get up to the roof? That's how. Become a genius. Hup. Wow, you're fast. Oh, hey, it's the cooks. What's up, cookity? What do you need? Uh, what's up, cook? Well, hello there, young one. Hello. You must be the VIP that boss was talking about. Yes. I'm Chef Babylon. The men call me Lon. Lon. And the women call me Baby. Damn. Anything in particular good old I can help you with? Uh, hi, Chef. Just checking if you need anything done. Oh, well, yes, actually. But it is completely up to you whether or not you'd like to do it. I'm sure you've been through enough fetch quests already. <laughs> Harvey can always do it. I just need 10 agaves and 10 honey mesquite pods. All of which can be found in the area if you don't have them already. <laughs> On that note, Chef, I think I'll pass. <laughs> sure, I'll help you out. Great. It's always good to have fresh stock. Goodbye. Keep that smile wide. <laughs> Keep that smile wide. Where is it there? Did you look at that? Come on, Harvey, get the cups. You can't just serve Nuka Cola to the guests straight from the bottle. It's not professional. Sorry, boss. Hello there. Goodbye. Well, that's not working, so I guess I'll just do the other mods. Mm. Okay, Teddy, I got this chosen for you. Oh, goody. Thank you much. Oh, and by the way, the silver-haired trooper you have in room 22 was looking for you about three minutes ago. Hey, Captain. Captain. Hello there, friend. Hello there. Teddy said you were looking for me? Aha. Uh -huh. And he was most definitely correct. I had no clue why I did not see the Nazis' plan before now. You see... What the Nazis are doing is exactly what I'd be doing if I were controlling an army in an unknown territory. The ODCC method, short for order dispersal via the chain of command. Meaning that, if you find that officer in Grimm who was detailed in the message you found, his information should lead you to his superior. Then his information would lead you to his superior, mm. etc. Yeah. In the goal of hopefully, Finding where the headquarters of the commanding officer is. If you're still in for it, you'll essentially be following the paper trail with guns a blazing until you find coordinate zero. Then, contact me. The plan seems sound. I guess I'm going Nazi hunting. Indeed, you are, brave wastelander. Yeah. I don't understand how your talents have gone unnoticed in the Rangers. We could really use people like you. I thought everyone knew about the crew. Between I and my men. And the mutants up the hill, you can count on Mount Charleston being safe from the fascists. 
But there's really not much else I can brief you on. You'll be getting your own intel and carrying out your own attack plans. Once you think you've come across the location of their operating headquarters, return here. I'll be organizing a joint strike with you. Godspeed, young friend. Come back if you need anything. I'm off then. Safe keepings. Keeping safe, I am not. Let's go kill a bunch of did it did Nazis. New California Republic. Welcome to the wasteland. Gonna kill your dad. Oh, what's this? Ha 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 ha! That just the cutest thing. Oh my god, does he have a gun on him? Oh, whoa! Knock. Shit. Oh, son tried to hit me, but it failed. Hey. I'm not a he, I'm a he. I'm a he he. Ah! I'm hit. Uh, Ow. They killed him. Uh, good job. Oh. Come on. Ow. Hey, what do you see before you die? Ow. Anything else? No, not really. They killed him. Well, that hurt. What are the orders? Order 66. Dear sir, I've forgotten the German name for the stand I gave you, so please bear with me. I'm simply to tell you that you're stand your ground in the band. I am the location button behind Iron. Oh. That's where he is, huh? Well, it's time I pay him a visit, isn't it? Isn't it? Damn it. Hello there. Ah. Good to see a friendly face. I ah. almost took you for a raider, I did. Malcolm Holmes. Name's Malcolm. Malcolm what? Holmes. Hey, what? Don't suppose you'd care to trade. I'm missing a few essentials and... Ah, oh, screw this. Lying just ain't in my nature. Huh? I'll tell it to you straight. I've been following you for a good bit now. Okay. Go on. It started off innocently enough. I was traveling, as I often do, and happened to... Oh, my God. This is getting creepy. I'm leaving. Don't follow me. Fine. Just do me... He's killed. That wasn't weird at all. Not at all. This guy was inside me. Diary entry. So we're near the end of the first week of the strange we'll have a desert of the main force. Blah, 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 blah. I'm currently in control of my own small battalion here in a comfy cave in addition to a larger battalion to the north. It's a several search from the... Let's look into the town of Novak. The first office has a order. Army. Oh. It does say to kill him, right? Oh, confront Novak. Okay, never mind. I'm moving on. Reaching clear. Oh. They're already dead. Ah, so here you stand, my young budding gunslinger. Not quite so different as you stood in front of me when my officers had gun to your head. I digress. I've done you a favor and sent one of my stormtroopers to kill dear Colonial Theron Bar for you, as you're now in the business of killing all of my officers. Unfortunately for you, you're not in the business of optical care, as you let one of my soldiers escape on foot during a blatant strike of my battalion by a shitty town of Sloan, which I am very fucking angry about. <laughs> and you inform me of your alliance with the local peacekeeping force, the new California fucking public. I spared your life, and now you stab Dill Steiner in the back. It hurts, friend, but it will hurt you more than it hurts me if you continue this manhunt of my people. Because the hurting for you will turn into killing, and the killing will turn into deathing, and the deathing will turn into disempowerment of your digestives all over and down this place carpet. Now I've done you three favors, friend. The third has given you a chance to walk away from my operations. You best take it, lest you feel the rash complications of interfering with the Fourth Reich. Right. Let's kill him. All that screaming just for me to go. Let's kill him. I have not lost my mind. Oh no. Ah! I am the one, the only one. I am the Santa that you can get respect from the streets. Ow. Oh no. God damn it. Hey. Would you guys take a chill pill for like five seconds? God damn. Everything hurts. 
Low frame rate? A mysterious voice from a magical snowman pops into your mind. We understand that not everyone has the top of the line regs, and we also are aware that our Christmas decorations can display low frame rate and lower in systems. If you are experiencing notable frame rate drops while outside of the lodge, <sighs> there's a button on the side of the main lobby fireplace which will strike down the which will strike down the large portion of the decorations in order to restore frame rate. Alternatively, you could marginally decrease your anti-alias and anti blah blah blah. Thank you, magic snowman. No, this is all pretty cool. Whoa, that's awesome. It's a Christmas tree. Oh, look at all the decorations. Holy shit. Oh, look at that. It's the most wonder. Hey. Look who's back from Eggnog. some good old hunting. I'm sure you can see that we've been awful busy decorating the place. Yeah. Your friend Humphrey came back with a whole posse of guests while Nick had me up that ladder decorating the tree out front. Next Ooh. thing I know, I come in for a drink. And the guests are here stringing up lights, singing carols, and Harvey here made a whole batch of eggnog. <laughs> On top of that, we've had a quick bout of snow here. So it's needless to say I'm feeling quite festive. Good! Oh, this place is looking great, but I searched a dead end with HQ. I don't know uh, Sergeant George Caravan. Well, good news is that you know that they're there. Bad news is, I too have no clue where St. George's Cavern is, peculiarly, unlike those outsiders. Plans for our strike are still developing. I'm just waiting to hear back from some folk. What I'm gonna do is send a telegram to the brass at McCarran to see if they know this location, in case it's unlisted or classified. classified. Until then, I guess we just continue to keep these folk on the mountain safe. Either way, I'm convinced you've thrown a wrench in their cogs. I probably have. Anything else new? Thanks for reminding me. Teddy was looking for you to give him a hand bringing in a tree. Oh. But I think he's back now. Still pop your head, though. Apart from that, the only new thing around here is the joy of having happy folks celebrating the most wonderful time of the year. Oh, he said it. Okay, bye. Keep warm. Would you look at this butte tree? She was the last of 50 that we cut down today. 49 of which are currently headed towards Good Springs. Nick hired a caravan to take the lot in a batch of Harvey's eggnog southbound. Lord know how the man affords it, but he wanted to see you before I lugged this baby in. Looking forward to an update regarding some rivals or something. Yeah. Stretch your legs down to Good Springs, why don't you? While I stand here and bask in the fact that this good old lodge is making a rebound. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! Yep. It's beginning to look a lot like the Christmas. Everywhere we go, you know it's just me when I've got to pee. And the only way out is through the yellow snow. It's beginning to look a lot like shit, miss. Everywhere I shit. I'm shitting over here, and I'm shitting over there, and every time I really need a shit. Oh, look at this. Let me read it. <coughs> the Waste <coughs> The Wastelander Annual Christmas Convention this year in the Mojave Desert. Take part, travel to the Alpine Lodge atop Mount C. Ask for Nick and Barney. Season's greetings. Is it getting Teddy told me to look up for an update for the situation? Yes, I was. Convention plans seem to be slotting into place just fine now. Our visitors are warm and happy. Wastelanders are telling me of the good deeds you did. Barney's decorating Midwinter Hall. All is well. But I can't help worry about the horror that we witnessed in Novak. And I can't help missing my poor old Rudy. How has the anti-Nazi campaign been going? Have we much to worry about the safety of our guests? The people of the Mojave. Christmas, as we know it. I can't really say I've been driven off. Uh, I've driven off for their battalions, but I can't. We're, we're fucked. <laughs> we're fundedly fucked. I can't find the main location. Well, I don't know why you sound so unsure. Seems as though you've put a dent in their gumdrop forces. For that reason alone, I'm quite happier. Gumdrop. We need to just keep our guard as the main convention dinner approaches. Replace gum. Ideally, what? you would find the location rather quickly. Jeez. Until then, I'll probably stay here with my assistant for the day. Or maybe check up on how Barney's doing at Jacobstown. Uh. Speaking of which, feel free to buy some of the Christmas wares I've brought from up north. <gasps> or even a bottle of Harvey's Fresh Eggnog. Oh, I nearly forgot to tell you. Some visitors were wanting to get a taste of some Mojave mountain hunting action. Teddy mentioned some famed bighorner that lives on Mount Charleston. 
who for the love of Jack Frost wouldn't die. Mm -hmm. Sounds like it would make an interesting turkey feast conversation. I'd start there for now. I'm sure we'll get some more drama in the coming days. I'm sure. It's looking nice here. I like what you're doing with the place. Isn't it great? The first day of the convention is going exceptionally well. Not to mention everything is looking as Christmassy as the North Pole. Nice. I and ten visitors up on the mountain got up early this morning to cut some young pines. Not all wastelanders can get up there, so why not help out? Poor Bongo thought we were crazy, but we most jingly pulled through. He even gave us a hand stringing those lights between the light poles. Uh, thanks, Nick. See you around. Stay warm. Wouldn't want Jack Frost to fuck you in the ass. <clears throat> what? 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 I'm going to buy one of these. I said one. I'm going to buy one of these. I'm going to buy one of these so I can wear the Christmas stuff. Check it out and be all stuffed. I'm going to wear the Christmas stuff. I'm going to wear the Christmas stuff. I'm going to wear the Christmas stuff. I'm going to buy a bunch of candy cane. A bunch of Christmas cookies too. Eggnog for me and you. Thank you. Take care now. Remember, we're going to a Christmas party, so I'll wear everything. I'll be like, I'll just be dancing. Touch down to the little do. I feel like dancing, dancing. I've done a poo hoo hoo. Uh oh. Ah, just the man I wanted to see. Our three brothers here visiting from Ohio are asking for places with good hunts. And what better place for hunting than here on Mount Charleston? Would you be so kind as to guide them about the mountain with a real gun aside their BBs in case they get into any trouble? Sure, Batman. Good to hear. Mojave legend holds the tale of a mysteriously powerful and elusive big hoarder on this here mountain. Uh oh. Wilma of the Pines. <laughs> Perhaps you could find satisfaction in attempting to find this dear Wilma and make history you will. But make do so soon. These folks have been waiting. Make history I will. Okay, I'm off. Be careful out there and dress warm. The weather outside is frightful. And the fire is so delightful. There's simply no place to go. Let it snow. Let it snow. Let it snow. Hey. Happy holidays and season greetings to you, young frolicking whippersnapper. And the Kermit voice? Singing the Kermit voice? Uh... I don't know if I can. <clears throat> the weather outside is frightful. And the fire is so delightful. There's simply no place to go. <laughs> Let it snow. Let it snow. Let it snow. The weather outside is frightful. <laughs> Holy shit! Uh, this ain't good. Cat, damn. It is so, it makes my voice hurt. Whenever I do the Kermit and the singing thing. There's there simply no place to go. <laughs> hey. Happy holidays. Is there anything else I can help with? Well, yes. As you can see, the place is nearing full occupancy. And as the manager, I'm having difficulty keeping up with the requests. I've got a small grocery list of things that I need you to do for me while I watch the desk. If that's not too much trouble. Of course. Alrighty. First off, that piano on the east wall is actually a player piano. It should play itself so long as we find a piano roll. Fittingly for the season, I'd hoped you could find a Christmas roll down in the basement for me. Shouldn't be too cluttered. I organized it last year. I've also got two boxes of Christmas lights and decorations down there that we should use to decorate the two trees in here and the Alpine lobby. Marty Robbins has, open quote, a family of big ass roaches on my porch, close quote. He <laughs> tells me last night and wants them dealt with. He's in room 206, which is the only room on the top floor of the Alpine block that has a porch. And finally, Caleb Hamilton from the Pineview building is complaining of strange smells coming out of room 12. Okay. The current resident of the room is a Miss Jemima Taylor, who is a goddamn basket case if you ask me. So just take a look for me, would you? Thank you so much. Hey, Marty. 
All I want to do is share my porch and enjoy the crisp winter air. But I can't do that with the disgusting roaches on my porch. What do you need? You gotta shut the fu- Ow. Hold on. They're all dead. Room 12. Let's go. Uh, oh! Over here! You like that? Damn! I'm hit! Why are you so strong? She <laughs> really was a basket case. Evening. There is no evening here. It's just death. Ah, de what was I supposed to do in here? <laughs> Hold up. Retrieve a box of decorations. Uh -huh. Christmas music piano roll. Nice. Um, decorations? Hey! There we go. Well, Jam must have went crazy and killed her husband, but the rest was pretty straightforward. The sweet Christ. I'll send someone to clean up Jemima's room. And thanks for dealing with the roaches and the piano roll. Now, I've got one last thing for you, because Barney just got back from decorating the Midwinter Hall. He's having an eggnog in Pinefresh. Before you see him, do you mind decorating the two trees in both lobbies for me? I'll take the box from you, and you just string up those lights. Sure, I like decorating. You're one of the most helpful people I know. Thank you! It's as if you can't really say no. Yeah, I can't. It's like your only option is to agree with me. Yeah. But nonetheless, it's a big help. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, hello, hello. Hello, Good hello. to see you. I'm possessed by a Christmas spirit. Long time no see. What's new, Barney? Well, I've officially rented out the midwinter hall for the <laughs> convention dinner. Oh. And I've finished decorating up there, so all is prepared. Oh, yippee. Looks like Humphrey's brought more travelers up to the lodge, too. And it seems the convention is coming along just fine. Oh and if I'm not mistaken, I think Nick is decorating Novak now and oh. setting up a sort of seasonal Christmas diner for the homeless. Oh. I know he really wants Rudy back, and I think that's part of the reason why he went back. In case Rudy somehow got free. Oh it would be good of you to go and see him again and bring him and the visitors back. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm glad he's making the most out of the convention and all. But I can't help but worry that those Nazis are going to return to the site of the slaughter. And I'm still confused why there's even any Nazis. I'll go see them. Thank you very much. It would mean a lot. I'll go collect some firewood for a fire. It's awful chilly tonight. Wait, you don't collect firewood for fun? It's for a fire? Shit, I have been lied to. What did that say? You're a mean one. Mr. Grinch not in faction. You're a snively little one, Mr. Grinch. Whoa, it's got lights in it and everything. Ah, oh, Christmas diner. Merry Christmas, Santa Claus, North Pole. Hey, man. Holy jolly hello. Holy jolly hello. Barney thinks it's a good idea to return to the lodge for now. I understand Barney's reservations, but if I and the guests don't keep doing what we're doing, what's the sense of having this convention anyway? Uh, I mean, point. we've set up a Christmas store in Good Springs for the good people, and now we've just finished refurbishing a food stop for the homeless. If I had Rudy with me, well, I'd be the happiest I've ever been. We're all safe here. The visitors are packing. I'm packing iron. And you've done your part keeping the Nazis at bay. I and I know Crosby and his troopers have the lodge well protected. Yes, they do. Speaking of the devil. Speaking of hey the devil. Hey, man, we've got a big goddamn emergency here. What? I was just hand delivered a document from the California Rangers in the lodge. Right. And they've been trying to keep up with you all the way here. Ah. Turns out St. George's Cavern was an NCR classified location. Classified for reasons surrounding a high-risk terrorist strike location! Oh my Friend, St. George's Cavern is the emergency backflow route and the emergency generator grounds for the Hoover Dam. Oh shit. Kimball didn't even know this shit. And the worst thing is, the Mojave Force is spread so thin that the big-ass brass can't scoop a force together. Oh. Vigilante deputization has been placed upon your and my head <laughs> from the president himself to stop this suspected terror plot underneath Lake Mead. Lake Mead? I've got a hold of Humphrey, and 
and told him to get all of his friends together and meet us at Lake Mead. You and I just need to meet him there. I'm afraid we need to act now or never, friend. I fear these Nazis have inside information on the workings at Hoover Dam. Hey. It could severely damage it. Well, this is really, really fucks up the lore. <laughs> what? Never mind. I guess we have no choice. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hello. Hello. <laughs> you, you said that way later. Whoa. Nice outfit. Well, I think the place cost me to us to blow up the dynamite work. I haven't gone close to that hatch. We were gonna wait for you to... Uh, are you ready for this? Why, is you kidding? I had scouted three groups of hundred travelers up my trust into the lords. I think I'm capable of this. Okay. Not to mention I not got me fans with me, and a really heavy armor piece that closely landed me. Damn. Sir, quit your worrying and let's skip to it. <laughs> quit your worrying and let's skip to it. It's time we tear them into a new world. This isn't... Damn. Uh, these are red roaches. These are not Nazi. I'm coming in! Time to kill some Nazi bitches. I'm hit. And, uh, I think some people may have died. Well, this is nostalgic to say the least. <laughs> nostalgic in the sense that this is how we first met. Not so much in the sense that you killed everything I've worked for over the past two decades. <laughs> you thick, thick man! You couldn't just leave me to my plans, could you? Even after I did the honorable thing of sparing your vegetative life! <laughs> Although it is I who I should be angry at. After all, I made the sweeping underestimation of your power. I at least expected to have these explosives rigged along the walls of St. George's Cavern before you could show up. But once again, a shortcoming. Mm. This is the end of the line for me. I know it. So ask away any questions you have, or you can end me right here. But if you decide to end me, you best put the guns away. Let you run the risk of us going out in a bang. How did you find this cavern? Well, at least one of my officers that you killed was an ex-NCR general. The very general that discovered the existence of this cavern. When he told other pompous freelies of his discovery, he was told to cover it up for fear of terrorist discovery. After he erased all documentation, the NCR staged the rape regarding him and a female trooper, to which he was giving a dishonorable discharge. The NCR likes to be very conclusive. So they swept anyone and anything regarding the discovery under the bed. It worked. The Legion hasn't found it. So an embarrassment, the poor man found me on his travels north, and I took him and his information under my wing, and a terrorist plot was born. Why do this? Because I like to see the pain and anguish in the eyes of society. I know that I caused it. Unlike many, I do want to set the world on fire. Oh. I'm tired of speaking to you. Merry Christmas. On guard! I missed. He didn't, though. And when we finally got oh. to the end of it all, nasty old Grinchenhausen was carrying in his little cubbyhole. We didn't spare him any mercy. Good. He didn't deserve any mercy. If you saw what happened at Novak those few days ago, you would have done a bit more than just not sparing him mercy. Well, he certainly showed them, Barney. I had had to have to have that kind of action for at least 20 years. <laughs> Speaking of things you haven't seen in a while, I haven't told you, but you'd never guess who I found carrying in the corner on the way out. By gosh, by golly. Rudy, I've missed you so much. I'm so glad you're okay. Thank you so much, Mr. Crosby. You've made this Christmas very special. Aww. There's nothing I enjoy more than making folks happy, old Nick. Especially this time of year. It was my pleasure. And Aww. thank you, friend. But our Christmas feast is tomorrow night. 
And you haven't exactly had a restful day. No. You should rest to get some before then. Well, folk, are you doing? It came upon a midnight clear. Fresh up and relax. Yay! I got a fresh number and relax. Okay. How does my Christmas sweater suit me? Very good, I see. Ah, there you are. The missing link. It's me! Welcome to the party. Don't dance yourself to death or anything. Humphrey and Crosby are at the heads table. Just sit down whenever you want to eat. Alright. Oh, it's a holly jolly Christmas. I took a seat. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to wish you all season's greetings. And I would like to thank each and every one of you for attending this dinner. This dinner tonight is the paramount occasion of our annual Wastelanders Christmas Convention, which this year has been a very successful one. A few of the things we've accomplished include gifting toys to the young, opening a free-to-eat diner, and decorating the major towns and much more. I would especially like to thank all of the guests who have traveled here from out of state. We're very warmed and gracious for your presence. I would also like to primarily thank my friend the courier, who without the service, this event would this event would have never happened. Captain Crosby, Teddy, Humphrey, and Babylon all deserve thanks from Barney and I. We never expected this amount of outpour. Christmas to me is a very special and dear to my heart time of year. Long ago, it was practiced near most everywhere and anywhere on this planet. Christmas carols would be ring out through the frosty air and over the chilled streets. Insides, chestnuts would be roast and hot chocolate sipped. Shop windows and busy streets were donned with garland and tinsel. Every folk who walked them dressed up like Eskimos, and they all shared the love. And to see tonight that we still mark this momentous occasion is something very magnificent in itself and we should all be proud. So before we chow down our Christmas meal, Merry Christmas everybody, and have a Happy New Year. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Lonnie Davis filling in for Mr. New Vegas for the last time this week. Oh, uh -oh. Shit. Uh, let me see if I can get that working again. <laughs> that uh, messed up at the end. One second, maybe we can have a normal ending. I can't see! Why can't I see? <gasps> I'm here! What? Oh, there's a few Christmas presents for me over here. Merry Christmas from Al Chessbreach. 800 caps. The power armor. Candy cane cookies. Nuka Cola Web and Eggnog. Hey everybody, Al and the crew here. We just wanted to wish you a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and a brand new wonderful year. That's right, everyone. Have a great one, a wonderful one, a very, very sexy one, and... What? Oh, uh, Steve says he loves you. Like a lot. Really, he is shaking it right now. Thanks, well, Steve. everyone, have a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and a wonderful New Year. I shall see you in the future. Oh, Merry Christmas. Thank you, Steve. That's all for today. Thank you all for watching. This came from one of my streams that started PM EST every day.